I looked and I saw what the Lord was showing me regarding believers and what is sent against the church. You have and will be seeing sudden deaths, freak accidents, and people just dropping around you dead. Am I saying this as destruction? Obviously not. I'm just giving you what the Lord is showing me what is happening, a spirit that is being released against the body of Christ, where you will see strange deaths, sudden deaths, freak accidents or unknown deaths. People will just fall down dead. This is not the virus. This is not to do anything with that. This is a spirit that has been released against the body of Christ. And it's going for the hearts of men. It's going for the hearts of believers, their physical hearts. And I looked and I saw these things where some people will say, but it's in the brain. Some will say it is the disease. Others will say it's in the blood, but you will see these people just drop dead or they'll have freak accidents. But believers, am I prophesying death right now? No, I'm telling you a spirit that has been released against the church, which we must pray against. And many will find it strange. They will not have answers. And they'll see these deaths just suddenly, even against people that they were looking up to, even against people that they had relationships with, or people that were close to the Lord, people that they didn't expect. It has already been happening, but I saw this and it has concerned me. In fact, in the office where I was sitting right here, this is where I saw it. And where the Lord said to me, a strange spirit of death is being released against the church and the body of Christ and believers. Then secondly, the spirit of infirmity and sickness. And the Lord said to me, many believers, but especially ministers, will receive this spirit coming against them. They will be exhausted completely. They will be drained completely. Or they'll just be contaminated with disease, infirmity, and they won't know where it is coming from or the reason of what is happening. Please listen to this. And that the church has to pray against this strange spirit of sickness. Please, I'm not speaking of what is happening right now of C19. I saw this spirit of sickness and infirmity hitting ministers. And ministers don't know why. They have found things coming to their mind, found things coming to their head, and they thought, but maybe something's wrong with me. Maybe there's something that I'm doing wrong. No, 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 no. There's been a unleash of hell against them. People do not see the spiritual, they see the physical. And they think, you know, this must come from this, or this must come from that, or this must come from this. No, 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 no. This is coming from a spiritual source where these things has been released. And I looked and I saw like the four horsemen, I saw something likened unto it. The horse of famine, the horse of death, the horse of sickness, blood being released into the body of Christ as an attack against believers. The strange things that is happening to you is not isolated. It is not personal. This is the times that we are in. The spirit of death is released through many gossip, through the words and the loose tongues of believers. The strange spirit of death is empowered by the tongues of believers. There will just be this intense gossip and division that will come into the church world. And as they are speaking, is giving power to the spirit. And this strange sickness is fueled and powered by prayerlessness. Then I saw the third spirit and I saw a spirit of paranoia, delusion, a strange spirit of paranoia, a strange spirit of delusion, obsession, megalomania. It's a God complex. It's when somebody is obsessed with having God power. And this is ultimately causing deception that they will not be able to listen to the truth, believe the truth. They will live in a reality that they've created. And this is not isolated. It is a spirit that is released against the body of Christ to stop the advancing of the kingdom of God for souls not to get saved, for the church not to be advanced, not to grow, and for you to give up. And this spirit of obsession, of delusion, of paranoia, of megalomania will bring a deception that comes in. And this spirit is coming in when people are isolating themselves because they're isolating themselves. They're becoming a power onto themselves. Humility is no longer there. Three strange spirits that has been unleashed against the body of Christ and believers to tire them out, to make them tired, to cause death, freak accidents, sudden unknown deaths, strange spirit of sickness and infirmity. They will not know what is the sickness that is coming upon them, but this will come upon believers.